fellow nerds, uh, I am here to quickly present you with a video and a pure data patch that will allow you to cruise through the preset pages on a BCR, uh, BCR 2000 and or BCF 2000. It can happen simultaneously or just one or the other. Um, and the way you will do that is uh, via the track selection buttons on an APC 40. You can do it with an APC-20, which I'm doing here at home tonight because I'm not at the studio, but it's a little clunkier because of that shift button that allows you to toggle between navigation and track selection. So, here we go. Here's the plan. Here's what's going to go on. The idea being like if I choose channel 4, it's going to go to page 4 on my BCs. So... There's a couple steps. Sorry, it's Mac centric. PC, you can probably swing it. You have to get some tools, maybe MIDI aux or MIDI yoke or I don't know. Um, okay, so uh, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. We are going to go to audio MIDI setup, go to the MIDI window. You will need an IAC virtual driver channel setup. I have one here called APC strip. If you don't have any, you hit the plus button, you name it, it's done, it's good to go. Close that out. Next thing you need, free download, a great tool, MIDI patch bay, loader up. We are going to take the input from the APC20. This is happening in parallel to Ableton. It's not gonna affect Ableton in any way, so don't worry. So we're taking the input from that, ideally an APC-40, but again, I'm at home, so it's an APC-20. Now, I can't confirm which note the APC-40 sends for the track selection. I'm going to assume it's the same, but I don't know. I could maybe open the scripts, but I want to just get back to what I was doing. I know for a fact by use of MIDI monitor that these track selection buttons, this is shift, I just hit, that's number note number 81 on channel one. And now I'm hitting channel one, two, three, four, five, six. We can see it's always consistently note 51 and then it just changes the MIDI channel. So, the way that I exploit that to make my patch work, I need to filter out number 81 because of the APC20 thing. But I also need to filter out any other data other than that note. Because if I move my slider, in theory, it's going to move the pages. It's, it's just no good. So what we're going to do here, we've chosen APC20, and now I'm going to only allow notes in the range of I just want 51 which is D3 so that takes care of that and then it's going to go out to my virtual channel that I set up just before this step minimizing not closing this window I'm now going to launch my pure data patch, which I've compiled into its own app. You can do that once you install pure data and open the patch I've linked to this video. And it automatically loads it up. I still need to do this one last thing. Every time, MIDI settings, input device, APC strip, output device, BCF 2000 port 1. Oh, I made a mistake back here. Let's just go D sharp. Yeah. Okay. My mistake. Not D, D sharp. So you may need to figure out what that note is on an APC-40 using MIDI monitor um, or just a whole bunch of denial and error. 
that's up to you how you figure it out. If you're doing this, you're probably clever enough to figure it out. Okay. So yeah, now I can flip through all my eight channels there. But when I move my faders or launch clips, it's not going to affect it. It's just based on the track focus via the track selection button. Pretty cool because sure the APCs have those dynamic knobs that allow you to have your rack set up in eight relevant knobs, but I kind of like static MIDI assigned knobs for certain things. So hopefully this was helpful to a few of you. If you enjoyed it, like it, share it, whatever. Send me some jelly beans or whatever. I don't know. Okay, bye.